Welcome to Fab Crafts and More. This is Wendy and I'm going to show you how you can upload SVG files to your iPhone or iPad. So the first thing you need to do is just go to the App Store and download the iZip app. You do a search for it and then when it pops up I just use the free version. I haven't needed the paid version and I'm not exactly sure what the difference is. So just click on that download it so that it is on your phone and then we will go to the next step. So I have gone to lovesvg.com. This is a good site. They have lots of free SVGs for you to download and practice with. They also have ones that you can purchase. At the top here you can see the different files that are included. The SVG, the DXF, um, an ESP file and PNG. So really the only ones that we are interested in are the SVG and the PNG. So scroll down and click where it says download the zip file. This screen will pop up in Safari. Click on open in iZip and it will automatically open iZip. Click on files and then scroll down until you find the SVG zipped folder that you downloaded. This one's the Happy Easter. So just click on the little arrow that's pointing toward the right. You'll come to the screen and you'll click OK to extract the files. Then go back to that, click the little arrow again, and it will take you to where all the files are. So now they are installed in iZip and now we have to save them to your files. So just click on the little arrow and it will take you over to the SVG file and we're going to click open in and save to files. Now I already had this downloaded so it's asking me if I want to replace it and I'm going to choose replace but you would just click add and I have mine all saved in that little iZip folder. I'm also going to load the PNG. You'll just click add, save to files, save it in whatever folder you want, click add, and now they are saved to your files where we can open them up in Design Space. So I'm going to open up Design Space on my iPhone. I'm going to click New Project. Then I'm going to choose Upload, Browse Files, and it's going to take me to my files. Now on here, we loaded the SVG and the PNG. The SVG is the little squares. So I clicked on the little squares that said Happy Easter and it's going to bring it up where I can save it in Design Space. So I'm going to give it a title and I called this Happy Easter SVG. You can click Done or Save when you're done typing and then it will import it into your uploaded files. Now you'll see I already uploaded these before. I'm going to choose the SVG which is the one that is in color and it will bring it onto my canvas. I'm going to click on layers and then you can see all the different parts of the SVG. So all these little bits that it's showing are each individual part of the SVG file. Each one is on its own separate layer. If you zoom in, you can see the inner parts of the A and the P and the Y. That's all those weird little oval shapes that you see in the layers. So then when we click make it, all the different layers go onto mats in the colors that they are and you just go ahead and go through with your cut as normal. I hope this was helpful and showed you how to download an SVG file and upload it into Design Space on your iPhone or iPad. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload more videos. Have a great day.